Kimbrough Show from the wonderful Kimbrough's Cafe in beautiful downtown Franklin, Tennessee. Can you say Viva Las Vegas? Viva Las Vegas! So much fun. You know, we like to search the world over to find some of the greatest entertainment, as I know you're aware. And ladies and gentlemen, today we really have for our fanfare extravaganza. Boy, we do. What? Yes, sir, we do. <laughs> Wait a minute, I heard the voice over there. It's a huge Hawaiian punch, man. How about a hand for David Spalding Jr.? Yo, no, how about a hand for the director of hospitality, William Covington? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, to start the show off today with unbelievable entertainment, we want to make sure that David Spalding has some light on him, but we'll figure that out as the show goes on, because I think they're just sitting in the dark over there. But that's okay, I guess. We're used to it. <laughs> Enough of me rambling on. It's time to invite our special guest to come up first. Ladies and gentlemen, we just did a TV show with this man somewhere out near Gelatine. There's a road, somebody from Holland said to us, we're out on Gelatine Road. Of course, that's Gallatin. And so we like to remember it as Gelatine just to frustrate everybody. But we were on Gelatine Road when we did this interview with the wonderful Lara Dodd, who was on our show a few weeks ago. How about a hand for Lara Dodd? Oh, no. Yes, we just got the black song. Next thing you know, we run into this giant of a man and the giant of a singer, giant of a songwriter, phenomenal guy and his band. How about Kate Roberts on the steel guitar? Yeah. Steel guitar, Hall of Famer. Over on the bass, both Kate and Roger played the legendary Hank Snow. How about a hand for Hank Snow? Roger Carroll on bass. A Mr. Man on drums. You'll learn more about him in a minute. But now it's time to bring up the man, the legend. The singer, songwriter, and the songwriter, and a singer. The one and only, Rob McNallan!
Caden Roberts there, member of the Steel Guitar Hall of Fame and Roger Carroll. And right now we're going to feature Caden on an instrumental called Curtain Time. Oh, 
question. Are you saying that record is already out? Yes. It, it is, is already charting in Europe? Yes. Number 81. Wow. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you happen to have a few thousand of them with you today? Yes. Yes. I have a limited supply and then if we sell those I can go out to the van and get another limited supply. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm sorry. How about Change it up. Caton, we put out a record on Caton here about a year and a half ago, two years ago, and you know, Marty Stewart and all his guys was on it. And uh, so let's do something off that record. Let's do let's do Opera Land Swing. Yeah, we'll push Caton's record a little bit too. Okay. Oh, we're ready. Opera Land Swing. channel can we see that on? Well, it's on the MyZ station out of uh, Huntington, West Virginia. So Huntington, West Virginia. I know you're out there watching. <laughs> so don't turn the channel yet. But you know what we just talked about. That's Robin Nerland Ranch Party. Well, you know there's a young man who, who has on a blue suit. He's somewhere in the building. I've been watching him on TV. He's got the Russ Barnell show. And it's on, what's, it's W-H-I-P? W-H-I-G, like wig, yes, out of Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And this young man, how about, how about scream for Rocky Mount, come on. We know there are people, oh, it's the one steel salute. A tradition of our fanfare extravaganza. 
But at this time, we're going to bring him up. He's been talking with Rod, uh, Rodney Nerland and uh, probably even David Spawn's Jr. and William Covington. They've been working up some fine tunes to sing together. So how about a big hand for the one and only, Russ Varnell! Oh, I just want to tell you, George, it's a pleasure to be here, and I'm a big Thank George you. Hamilton, the fourth fan and right. fifth fan. Y'all give, gotta give George the fourth a hand too. Yeah. There you go. All right, y'all. Hey, uh, how many traditional country music fans we have here? Yeah. That's what we need more of here in Nashville. And uh, we went to George's second generation show the other night. What a thrill that was, too. All right. Hey, y'all, we're going to do a song for you right here. It's a Buck Owen song that I was lucky enough to get to sing and, and know Buck pretty well. And uh, we even did an album together. Check us out at russvarnell.com, y'all. And... Uh, we're going to do this one right here for you. I hope y'all remember, and even more so, I hope I do. Hey. Yay! <laughs> I've got a because he said it'll be a cold day when I get Russ Varnell back. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're looking forward to that. Hey, y'all, this is my drummer and my best buddy and harmony singer here's birthday today. So y'all say happy birthday, Roger. Yeah. yeah, he's 39 again. Hey, there you go. He's older than, yeah, there you go. Hey, y'all, we're going to do a George Jones song for you, if that's so good. How many George Jones fans we have here? All right, yeah, and I want to tell you what a great show this is, y'all. You never know what to expect when you're going somewhere, but y'all get George the fifth a hand, because I tell you, this is pretty strong. Huh? It is. Yeah, one of the best shows I've ever been on, I do believe. Yeah, hey, and uh, he didn't even pay me to say that, yeah. Let's do uh, She Thinks I Still Care, all right. Yeah. 
Can we do truck driving, man? Would you in your key? What is my key? Whatever you used to tell me to. Can I get my own banjo? You can. Are you all ready for me to play truck driving, man? I can't hear you. I still can't hear you because I'm deaf. I'll be right back. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for having us. Y'all give a hand for the great band up here, y'all. Trying to follow me and make me sound good. That's tough sometimes. Yes, yeah, so we'll be coming back up in just a minute. We're, we're kind of just, uh, we're taking over the stage, as you know, because that's the mystery of fanfare. You always wonder what exactly is going on, but somehow it sure feels good. Are you having a good time or what? <laughs> that's close enough. Let me get my pick so I can help out pick on the zone. Now, this is a song that George IV recorded many years ago. One of his top ten hits, I You know, a lot of people, we do this song on our show all the time back home, and uh, a lot of people say, well, that's a great Buck Owens song. I said, well, you're, I said, and then I stop them. I said, as much as I love Buck, you're, it, Buck did it, but you know who had the biggest hit recording to this was George Hamilton IV. That's right. I yeah. know today he's thinking, okay, I love the biggest hit. He's watching down on us right now. That's right. But he's saying, you know, I want these boys to do it every bit as good. And you know, Russ Barnell, he's a heck of a singer. Of course, I am too. So That's you know. right. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. You know it's going to be good. And so here's a little song called Truck Driving Man. You can start it off, it's your song. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna start it off on my banjo. Well, I pulled in the road, how to see what they
See Russ Barnell and Roger Gilmore of Pink Floyd. It's gonna be great. How about these suits? Thank you, thank you, George. It's an honor. We love to be back and we love to work with you some more. You know, I'm looking forward to our tour all across North Carolina. Yes, sir. Yay! Thank you, North Carolina. Watch out, run away. And now it's time to turn our microphone back over to the man who's got his own TV show too. Once again, watch Russ Barnell on WHIG television in Rocky Mountain. I believe it's every Saturday. What day is it? Uh, Sundays at 3. Sundays at 3 o'clock. Yes, and they got new episodes all the time. I love the episode about them trying to get the tractor on a fishing hook out of the pond. <laughs> you can see that on YouTube. Just Google Russ Barnell Show. Well, we're bringing back up Caden Roberts, of course, with Rob McNerland and Roger Carroll. Now, these guys have toured all around the world, of course. You've got your own TV show, Rob. Do you have anything you want to say because David Spaulding wanted to ask you a question? Oh, I'm supposed to ask him a question? Yes, David Spaulding is a man of constant leisure. He is a man of constant leisure. Well, all I know is that between your boots and your boots, I was looking for a plug. They were plugged in. <laughs> These are battery powered here, man. They are. Right, you know, they got to shine until I tell you what. You know, Rob, I don't think we'll let Russ get out of here without asking him one question. I think you should ask him. Yeah, and I think I'm going to ask you a question everybody's wondering about. Is your hair that way naturally? Um, it took a long time. I had to, Did you? Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't buy it. But, uh, well, you, well, you put anything in it? Or? Uh, yeah. Uh, Axe, jail. Axe, jail, <laughs> jail, let it grow out. I got Porter Wagner hair, but I was waiting to get Dolly Parton, but it ain't worked out. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> he mentioned that he didn't buy that hair. Yeah. I mean, last time I was here, did I bring Hank Snow's toupee with me? I believe. Yeah. 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 So, I, I'd forgotten that. Yeah. So next time, I'll, I'll promise I'll bring Hank Snow's toupee again for display. Yeah. Well, I tell you, Rob, we, we really enjoyed running into you this week. That was fun. That yeah, was fun. that was fun. We, that was a normal Monday. Well, that yeah, was a normal Monday. A lot better. We were going to do the Laurel and I uh, TV show, and we were talking about Rob and the gang coming, and I looked up, and there was Rob right there. We just ran right into him. So it was we, great. We had a good time. time. Yeah, we did have a good time. And welcome back again. Well, thank you. Thank you all for having us. Can we, just, can we just take this on the road some way, do this for a living? Why not? Yeah, let's do it. As long as it pays. Do you think we can take it out on Gelatine Road? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, I, you know what? You're a great looking crowd, but I've never seen a crowd any more than the need of a gospel song. You all look like yeah! you know. So everybody may know this one. Huh? Friend of the family? You want to do that? Which one? Which one? We were going to do when we all get to glory. We're going to sing, sing, sing. <laughs> Could you do uh, Friend of the Family then when we all get to glory or reverse order? Well, okay, let's do Friend of the Family. You're, you're the host. It's your show. I'll do whatever you want me to. So, yeah, don't be that. So forget that introduction. We're going to do Friend of the Family here, which is a nice recitation number. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please listen closely to this song because in the true tradition of recitations and gospel tunes, it's got so much poetry in it, and, and really the, the way you chose the words for this song, because you wrote this song. 
Yes, I wrote this on a road trip to Buffalo, New York. Yeah, and this song speaks to us all today because we're so plugged into technology. I don't want to give it away, but perhaps let your mind start thinking as he sings these words. maybe three. One day after work, Dad brought home a friend of the family. We welcomed him with open arms, gave him a prominent place in our home. Then we gathered around and listened to the stories that he told. He told of places we'd never been. He showed us pictures we'd never seen. He could sit and talk for hours, this friend of the family. We loved this friend so much, we let him move right in. And in the evenings, we'd gather around and listen to the tales he could speak. We used to sit on our front porch and talk with neighbors as they passed by. With this new friend, we began to stay inside. And after table grace, we'd tell each one about our day. But now we kept quiet to see what our friend would say. But there was times that we'd even stay home from church because we loved spending time with this new friend so much. Now our friend would be our babysitter when mom and dad went out. They didn't know the things he told us when they weren't around. But late one night, our friend began to swear and cuss. And I couldn't believe that he'd speak that way in front of us. But no one called him down, though he should have been ashamed of the language he used in front of us that day. Well, I guess our friend got braver and braver through the years, till the stories were filled with sex and violence, things that no one should hear. He mocked all we stood for, he questioned our beliefs, but still we'd sit and listen to this friend of the family. Now he still tells his stories, and we listen to him yet. To this friend of the family that we call the television set. Go to church here, and I think that you know, should make enough noise that sounds like a Pentecostal church. <laughs> well, when I get the glory, I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. I'm gonna let those hallelujah I'm gonna praise my dear Savior's name.
right back. Could y'all just do one more? We might even bring y'all back up because I know you could be here for the rest of the day. Yeah. Love it well, we're, you know, you treat us good. We'll just move in with you. We're kind of like a straight dog. You know? right. Yeah, let's do, you know, these guys were on the road for years with Hank Snow. And we had a request yeah. from the audience for this Hank Snow number. So, so here we go. So in case you haven't ordered breakfast yet, have you have you had breakfast yet? Yes. How many people? Let me see you raise your hand. Wow, there may not be any left for me. <laughs> Cake lady, what do you think of that? You better eat now, baby. You look like you're getting ready to go down to the river for a baptism. I am. <laughs> I have already been baptized. I know, I know. <laughs> but, but I need two baptisms. <laughs> well, maybe once a year is a good thing. Take you know, because it sure is hot. Hallelujah, and it's hot out there as you know. You know, this is a special time of our show because we always like to thank that we're seeing all around the world, and our camera lady may actually help adjust the cameras so we can point all around the world too, because we've got some people who come here from all around the world. Yes, we do. We do? Yes, we do. We do, actually. You know, we're watched in Poland, we're watched in France, we're watched in England, we're watched in Australia. Where else, David Spalding Jr.? Space shuttle if they got internet. <laughs> 
They say that they were asking the man on the news the other day what's going to keep him sane. He's circling the world, you know, for like a year. And what did he answer, David? Country music. The country music, yeah. Country music, the but Viva especially Vegas radio show. Viva Nash Vegas radio show. Because we have oh. so many long, 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 long shows. He he won't even be able to see the end of the shows. No, he won't. <laughs> There's one thing he can't answer the trivia question we have today. Do you got a quick trivia question? Because we got somebody from around the world getting ready to come up. Well, if you want me to do it now, I will. But do you have something to give away today? I do, but it's in the trunk of my lovely cameraman and wife's trunk. And it's the uh, newspaper. We have newspapers of our beautiful show. So we may have to postpone our trivia question for right now. She's going out to the trunk to find the trivia question prize. But now we have a man who comes all the way from over in Europe. And it's very exciting because he has been, you were on Channel 17 yesterday, and you are you getting ready to go down to Fanfare again? Yeah. So yeah. you're going to brave that heat out there. I'll, gonna I'll quit talking to him from off the stage. I'm trying to keep you surprised. Because I know that people are watching down home right now. You know where you are. I'm not going to spoil it until he gets near the stage. But if you are watching in France, Poland, Mississippi, America, New York, Nashville, let's say England, Scotland, Sweden. Wales, Sweden. 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 Oh. Well, he's getting ready to come up on the stage. We have a little lady with red hair that is stalling him right now. But here he comes. He just handed her a card. He comes from all the way from the country of Sweden. Are you ready? His name is Simon Anderson. How you doing? All right. This is a new experience for me. We don't have lovely giants like this over in Sweden. Uh, like that, something? All right, I figured I'd play something to get in the right mood here, so starting off with what I'm... It's a well-known tune, I don't need to introduce it. That's all right, I'm all right. That's all right, I'm all right. When you do what well, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's all right now, Mama. Anyway, you do. Oh, yeah. oh well, now, Papa, he done told me. Well, and Mama done told me too. She said, it's all right, girl, you fool. But she ain't no good for you. Well, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right now, Mama. supposed to be a 16 hour flight but it took me 30. Wow. So there you go. Managed to get on the last train and I, uh, not the train but the, uh, what, the plane to Nashville. Now you'll be signing autographs I will. tomorrow next day you got a booth. Yeah, yeah. and today yeah. and yesterday and uh, I'm just the, you know. Tell, tell the world where it is. It's over at the uh, Fanfare X okay. Music City Center in Nashville right. booth 562. All right we hope a lot of people go by. Yeah. So, now this has been a great trip for me, really. Uh, I've been in Nashville before, but not during the festival. And not here. Unfortunately, but I'm very, I'm very thankful and proud to be here and, and to be a part of this. This is great. Uh, back in 2013, I won uh, Best Country Song of the Year at an award show out in Hollywood. 
And that's what brought me here, um, you know, with a couple of things in between. Now I'm here. So I would like you, I would like to play you the, uh, the title track of the album uh, with the song that won, if that's okay? Yeah! It's called A Brand New Day, and it goes something like this. Getting late, I'm finally on my way I'm on the freeway heading south To get away from everything right now Is exactly what I have in mind And I have to admit It was hard to get back But I'm making a change now I'm starting right now I was playing with fire And I got burned Actually, for all the way from Sweden, the sitting in the back. And my lovely girlfriend with a nice hat. We're having a, such a good time over here, really. This is truly something special. As I said, I've been to Nashville before, but not here. So uh, this is something that I will carry with me for a long time. I'm sure. We got time for another one? Sure. Yeah. All right. Um. Say I play the new single. It's just been out. Yeah. It's a song called uh, "How Did I Get Here," and it's not a question about how did I actually get here, like walking in through the front door, or uh, no, it's. Uh, uh. <laughs> It's uh, more about how did a guy like me end up with a beautiful woman like you? That's Whoa! the question. Michelle! Love story. There you go. <laughs> so, here we go. Good enough for jazz, huh? Summertime, first dates, pulling up 
my epic breaks Here she climbs so fine Looks like a damn good time Step out all the door Breathe her in one more Turn the wheel, I take it slow I've never been down this road How did I get here? Sweden, right so, in the bottom of it. It's because it's a very tall country in northern uh, northern Europe. Yeah. Is it so, hot over there in the summer? Uh, yeah, but not quite like like here. <laughs> well, Maybe on one of the hottest summer days, but not constant like this. So uh, I've been over to Poland and had fun over there. In the daytime, it gets very warm, but at nighttime, what happens? It gets pretty cold or chilly, yeah. which is really a good balance. Yeah. yeah. Do you have air conditioning there? Or? Yeah, we do, but not not as much as here because here you need it. Or you want some. <laughs> well, have you ever met a man from Hawaii? I'm sorry, what? A man from Hawaii? No, I haven't. We haven't either, but we have a man who is a huge Hawaiian punch man sitting at the table. <laughs> Hawaiian punch man David Spotted Jr. Did you have any other questions before Simon goes to head to fanfare? Well, I just want people to know that booth number again. 562. 562. So all you people out there watching all around the world, if you come to Nashville, go to booth 562 for sound. I appreciate that. What it will be nice. How what you, is your website? How do you get your record? Well, it, the record is all over iTunes and whatever whatever place you prefer to oh, use. Spotify. Spotify and I don't even know all the names of the stores today, but you know, it's out there. Um, and my website is simonanderson.net not dot com because that's another guy <laughs> but you will recognize me from radio won't you so that's not a problem <laughs> now it's simonanderson.net and that's with two s's in anderson you want to know why why because this uh, the, the last name anderson comes from anders son so oh. that's why you have two s's wait, wait, what about hans, Chris, hans christian anderson where is he from i don't know oh. <laughs> Well, the last question I want to ask you then, Denmark. can you say Viva Nash Vegas in Swedish? Viva Nash Vegas. Are you sure you want to hear that? <laughs> yes. Okay. Here we go. You're all sitting down. Viva Nash Vegas. Yeah. 
Australia. We got some music coming up in just a second, but first, we always like to treat you with something we call magic. And this man's name is David Scott. He does magic. That's why we call him... Magic! He's David Scott. figuring out how to do the tricks. So every time the magician would say something about the trick, or the parrot would jump up, it's up his sleeve. It's in his pocket. It's around his back. Well, it really made the magician, made the magician mad. Well, about week 16, 17, the ship sank. Well, when everybody's getting on debris and everything else, just so happens the piece of debris that the magician got on, the parrot laid down. That. Well, anyway, they didn't talk. Definitely they were upset with each other. Four days into the Rass uh, floating around, the parrot said, well, okay, what do you do with the ship? <laughs> We're gonna do a card trick. Not any card trick, not any specific card trick. But um, what I want you to do is, I want you to see that all the cards are different. Yeah. Okay, now. Now that you've seen all the cards are different, okay, now I'll get over to you and show you in just a second, okay? Now that you see they're all different, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to spray the cards out, and I'm going to have you select them. But here's the thing, you can't show anybody else. You have to commit it to memory and hang on to it until I ask for it. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, just put your, put your finger on one. That one right there, okay? Now, make sure nobody else sees it but you. All right. Now, just to make sure... What I want you to do is I want you to put it in the envelope and put it face down. William, I want you to do the same thing. Put your finger on one card, any one. That one right there. All right, do the same thing. We'll look at it. Don't show anybody else. And put it face down in the envelope. I'm going to show you the all card. Different. Put your finger on one. All right there, that top one. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Okay, don't let anybody see it. Put it. In there. Put it right in there. Now get the mic so everybody can see it. Okay, David, seal that envelope. All right. Now, to recap, all three gentlemen saw that all cards are different, correct? You all have a free choice of what card you picked. Put your finger on it. I gave it to you. You put it in the envelope. You seal the envelope, correct? Okay. That was a chain of events. Now. William, if you'll take the envelope. This is not me reading their mind, because I can't do that. Don't want to do that. The thing is, I talked to all three of these gentlemen briefly earlier, and I put a thought into their mind. And they picked a certain card. They never saw the real card, they just picked one. So hold your hands in the air, one hand in the air. Put your hand down when I call out your card. The nine of diamonds. All three of the nine of diamonds. How, how does that work when all the cards are different? Like I said, you really didn't see the card. That's good. But here's the thing. Y'all put the cards in there. We seal the envelope. William, show everybody the cards. Like I said, y'all didn't really see anything. <laughs> <laughs> William, David, and Ken, thank you guys. <laughs> Yes, magic is a very special part of our show. And you probably noticed that I just vaporized, but now I'm back again. That's what I call magic tea. I'd like to say hello once again to people watching us all around the world and to my mother, who's sitting right back there. How about a hand for my mother? I don't get a chance to introduce you all the time. One day I'm going to ask you to stand up. I know you're still rel relatively shy. 
But I, wait, let me get this poster. William, can you pull the microphone to you and Amy and say something very special? You're reading something you wrote down on a card, or maybe you're trying to, you're, you're writing a song. But say something while I pick up this poster. <laughs> say something special. All right, well, everyone, I'm just, uh, anyway, being a part of Green Life Vegas Radio Show, we're glad that each and every one of you can come out and see us today. After doing this for what, three years now, George, it's, it's really been a fun trip. And I thank you all for helping us do this and being so long to us and coming out and being with us. How about a clap sign? <laughs> you know, actually, don't worry, go practice for another song. Now, we got somebody coming up here right now who's very special. You know, I'm going to show you this poster. Are you ready? A silence falls over the room. As we pull this poster back up again, do you remember where we are? Yes. Yes. The Americana Triangle. It's the Americana Music Triangle. Right now, we are right here in Frankfurt. But you can see, shh, the hush falls across the room. Well, you will do the hush sign. What do you do, like the finger on your mouth? That's right. So people stop talking for just a second while I make this important speech. I think someone's talking back in the bar. Obviously, this is not, they don't like to listen to my speeches, but this speech was supposed to be made by the one and only cake lady who's back there. She's getting ready to go down the river. Come on up here, cake lady, and give us a sermon about this right here. Yeah, if you want to, but we're going, we do want to spoil it. We're going to do the math. Don't no, come no, up no. yet. No, no, because oh. no, he is the he is Okay, but don't tell where he's from yet. You're going to trace gonna the map. I'm going to let him show Okay, I'm going to stand back here while Cake Lady and Travis come up here, and I'll hold the map. Ladies and gentlemen, the lady's name is Cake Lady. Come on up here. She's not. You're Travis. Travis. This is Travis. He's not the Cake Lady. <laughs> So, so we, we are uh, promoting the Americana Music Triangle, and um, I'm going to let Tra Travis is a wonderful singer, songwriter. Where are you from, Travis? From Natchez, Natchez, Mississippi. Okay. So I got to meet Travis actually through Aubrey Preston, and this was his brainchild. Aubrey is from this neck of the woods. He actually lives in Leapers Fork, and you played out there last night, right? Yeah, we played at Puckett's last night. Puckett's last night. Where are you going to be on Monday? We're going to be right here Monday at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. All right. So come out and see you. Do you want to talk about the triangle? Go ahead. You talk well, about it. We're on a, um, a band called Bishop Gunn. And this is, uh, I want to introduce you to Hudson Laird. This is a kickoff player, Bishop Gunn. We're out of Natchez, Mississippi. And we're currently doing a tour around the triangle. We're, uh, it's not exactly in order the way we want. We're kind of zigzagging around, you know, but uh, trying to make connections and venues and just put our brand up here and help join with the whole five states involved, so, yeah. Five states and nine genres of nine music. Nine genres of music, yes. How many days? How many dates? How many dates? Um, look us up, uh, look us up a Bishop Gunn on our, on our Facebook page. We have everything listed and uh, catch some videos, catch all our dates. Our next is here on Monday night, and then we're going to be in Oxford on Wednesday. Helena, Arkansas, and then Memphis, Tennessee after that. So try, try to book more dates. Where'd your band get its name? It comes from Natchez. It was a former bishop of Natchez. It, um, it actually is one of, the, one of the big memorials in the cemetery, the National Cemetery there um, has that on it. And uh, we got to read the story, you know, I thought it was a real cool story and a real cool name actually. And it just kind of represents the town in a sense, you know. Gotcha. But <laughs> well, now we had enough questions from David Spotter Jr. I think it's time to get on with some of the great Great music. From Travis McCready! <laughs> Gonna do the song I wrote called Let the People Know.
Bishop Gunn, it's called an eulogy.
you know, we have a lady who's wearing a wonderful white shirt. She wanted to come back up on stage again. Oh, she did. <laughs> I'm not coming up and let you guys. She's not coming up. Come on up here, Pam. Huh? Let her come up, George. So, so, uh, you can't move the microphone. Okay, so don't we want Travis to do another song? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to do an original, or do yeah, you want sure. to do? Do you want to do a? He, he does a mean Bob Seger. I'm here to tell you. Yeah, we can do a cover. Whatever you want to do. What do you want to do? Let's do a cover. Let Let's do a fun. cover. Okay. Be a lot of fun. That gives me a chance to make this noise again. I just love this. It reminds me of the high school, or maybe junior high school. <laughs>
Mississippi, that's G U N N, Bishop Gunn. Thank y'all so much. Come on back out and see them on Monday night here at Kembro. That was a very special time because I'm going to go back over the soundboard as we bring up this folk trio that has traveled all the way from Nashville and maybe even Fairview. Have you heard of Fairview before? We like to think of Fairview as our neighbor, sister city, if you will, because you are still in Williamson County, and we are in wonderful Williamson County. Remember, next, what is it, on the 20th, will we be back at the Williamson County Archives. How many of y'all were at the Williamson County Archives last time? <laughs> now we're going to let, I'll go on with this microphone, and we'll, we'll try to get the microphones together. Let me see, I'll be moving this one, we can move that stand. Oh yeah, that one won't work. That microphone will probably not work. So ladies and gentlemen, we want to ask David Spalter Jr. to do the trivia question and we'll hand out the paper while they do this right now. Make it a quick trivia question. The trivia question for today. Are you hearing anyone? The original fanfare. Who remembers the original fanfare? I do. I wasn't that a fun time. Hot, you know, get out there. There were two gentlemen, gentlemen, that came up with the idea of fanfare. Can you name those gentlemen? Andy Griffith! No. Uh, 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 George the Fourth! George the Fourth? Bill Anderson? Bill Anderson, you win! This friend Bill. Susan, you can Are you sure it wasn't Andy Griffith? No, it was your father in Whispering Bill. You mean it was George Hamilton the Fourth yes, and it Bill Anderson? How about that? Yay! And today the prize that goes to one of you out there. The very who guessed it? Susan won it. Oh wait, Susan Compton who has a brand new seat that is fantastic. It's all over. It's on all kinds of iTunes apps and all kinds of stuff. It has been like charting at the very top, and we're going to have her as a special guest sometime very soon. She's got we want to bring you all to bring this music thing. Now Susan's going to get one of our newspapers. Amy can get the newspaper if she wants to. I'll get it and we'll hand it to her in the next segment. Here comes Michael Kells with a wonderful trio and a man that I saw just the other day when I was shopping for all of my home goods because we love to repair houses together. How about George over here on this? It's like a balalaika. What's that called? It's a mandolin. And I'll go, Mr. Dobro back here and Michael Kells. All right, then this is instrumental. You know what it's called. How's it go? Oh, I, a little yeah. bit. What's it called? Fireball Night. Wow.
you want to play on this, find anything in there. You're welcome to. You're welcome to jump in there anywhere you want to. I remember those nights together with her. Everything about everything we were The way we stood by each other When no one else cared And everything about everything we shared But how can she say she can't remember it all? The way we stood by each other, no one else came. I don't believe, but that's off the release just before the latest release. But now it's time to bring up a man who sang a song in the archives the other day, and a man who traveled all the way over here from Aberdeen, Scotland. Can you say Aberdeen? Aberdeen. Aberdeen. So all of you are watching in Scotland, this is going to be mighty fantastic because you watched last week's episode and you said, how can this be possible? Well, it is. It's always possible because all things are possible at the Viva Nash Vegas Radio Show. We want to remind you, you're watching us on RadioNashVegas.com, or maybe you're not, but if you're not, you will be watching us soon on RadioNashVegas.com. And you'll also be watching our archives with special videos from last week at the Williamson County Archives. And of course, next week, we'll be back at the Williamson County Archives, or whenever the 20th of June is. I think that's next week or something like that. Next week. <laughs> next week? <laughs> no, actually, I'm just joking. Nothing happened. That was me and the microphone. All right. 
So next week we will be back there. The cake lady and her sister will be bringing special cakes to the show. And it will be gluten-free, as always. Our man is totally gluten-free, and he is our wonderful cousin from over in Aberdeen, Scotland, who actually is the right here originally. Stuff like that. The one and only, Chris Jones! Thank you, Cousin George. Yay! He's right, uh, before last week, the uh, the first time, or the last time we had seen each other was in Aberdeen, Scotland, at the music hall there. I've been over there a bunch in the past uh, year, and I uh, love it over there. But now it's good to be here in the fanfare week. I do have parking tips for downtown Nashville. Yeah. I discovered that I'm willing to sell those to you after this show. <laughs> But uh, I want to get Alec Gall and George Pierce to come up here and uh, help out. Uh, nice guitar, Chris. Oh yes, this is a Michael Kelch special. But, uh, Yay! Recently, recently uh, purchased from him just after his last song. Uh, this is a song, this is on an upcoming album that is available for pre-order on Tuesday. If you do so. But uh, this this is uh, re reminiscent of my time over in that part of the world. It's uh, actually more of an Irish and English number than a Scottish number, but it's from Liverpool. And uh, Alan George and I have been playing this one together probably well over three minutes. And this is called I'll Leave It of Liverpool.
Sirius Satellite Radio. Right now. You're going now. One of us is alive. Yes. He's got a fine parking down there in Fanfare. He does a bluegrass show. He is world renowned. The one and only Chris Jones. And Chris Jones and the Night Drivers and Sirius Satellite Radio. Now it's time to bring back up all the way from parts unknown. Well, in parts beyond. The one and only Rob McNerland. Kate Roberts, who's standing right there, and Roger Carroll. They're going to play a song or so, and then they're going to invite a special guest to come up, and then we're going to like play maybe who knows what, and then we'll come to a crashing halt. <laughs> As we play our favorite song, we could not play at the archives because it's not serious enough. It's called Craw That Ho. What do you think? Are you all ready for Craw That Ho? Let me hear you scream. Oh, you're going to have to practice more than that. Here they are again. The one and only Rob McDonald and Kate Roberts and Roger Carroll. Thank you. Thank you. What are we doing? I don't know. What would you like to do, Roger? Uh, do that one. We might know. Maybe one of the count of them. You want to do that one? No, that's a serious song. These people look like they might need to hear it, though. I'm still worried. Some of them. Some of them I need. What key Let's do it in G. Will the flowers that grow yeah! from the seed that you sow someday be used in Satan's bouquet? When your life's work is done and you stand at the throne, friend. Satan's bouquet Will the flowers that grow from the seed that you sow someday be used in Satan's bouquet When the angel of death has stole your last in the back. I need their blonde wigs. That's what I need. Okay. You want to kick it off? Yes. Okay.
close to know Just someone I used to spend some time with Just a flame That's lost its glow I don't tell them how lost I am without you. I say just someone I used to know. Just someone I used to spend some time with Just a friend from long ago Thank you for your forgiveness I don't tell them of the nights I've cried without you Oh, we're getting pictures. We're getting <laughs> oh, wait. And ladies, let me tell you. Ladies. <laughs> ladies, let me tell you, when you see George crawling on the floor, he's on. Where are you going? Where are we doing, George? I tell you, it's almost time for the show to come to a crashing halt. Do you want to do one or two songs before the crashing halt? Whatever you want us to do. Would y'all like to hear two songs? Oh yes, I think David Scott has got out of time. Wait a minute. You know, I'm gonna play Give me three. Blah, 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 four. That's the auctioneer. <laughs> we'll do at least two. At least two. And yeah. are you gonna feature, of course, Kate yes. Roberts, this fine young man, a member of the Steel Guitar Hall of Fame? Give it up. Give it up. We're going to do a song now that uh, Kate played on the original demo of this song, and they can trace the origins of it back to 1492. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even hear a word I said, did you? You didn't hear anything. But no, this is an old, old song, and, and uh, for some reason we came up with this version of it. We hope you enjoy it. Turn it off, Kate. I'll do a little bit of chime in there and see. Uh, uh, Slowly she got up and 
slowly when she nigh him and as she stood beside his bed said young man I think you're dying and lightly walked she across the fields and heard the death bell knelling and every bell church here so
Poster. Come on, there you go. She's like a cute card girl. It's time once again to remind you about the Americana Music Triangle. What better way to remind you about the Americana Music Triangle? Am I upside down or right side up? You got it, Mark. Okay. You got it. We've been told by the angel in white, who's also known as the cake lady, and of course her sister will be making wonderful cookies with them next week at the Music Americana. We want to have somebody from the American Music Triangle come back up and do another little, little feature because he's going to be playing here on Monday night. How about one more hand for Trenton McCready and then we'll do that at home. <laughs> Travis is from Natchez, Mississippi and he's here in Franklin. You're playing all around. Yes. Are you going to sing another song for us? I want to real call. This one's called Ride With Me. Do you want to take a ride with me into the sunshine? And we can head on down that road. Some time with me, I really don't mind. And we can take that highway slow. But I've been thinking about moving on and counting all the miles in between. And no love the scars on you and me Let it go Open up your heart, give our love a room to go Cause I know That we can find our place together We 
so much. Don't forget about Monday night. We'll be back here for some. What time? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Travis McCready and the band is called. Thank you. Fish of Gun. Yeah. Fish of Gun. G U N N. Yeah. You know, this is just fantastic. Now, we've got something special that's going to be happening in just a few minutes. We will actually do Craw That Hole first. But we want you to know one of the great parts about fanfare, many of you all know it is fanfare. I do too, and I'm so proud that actually it was invented by somebody in my family, which makes me very happy. Yes, it's exciting. But part of fanfare is you never know what's going to happen next. We're going to be filming a music video right after we do Craw That Hole. It's featuring the Pfeiffer Twins, and they just walked out. But they were going to come up on stage and just wave at you for a second, just so you get a taste of what's going to happen. Here's one of the five. I don't know which five. Come on up here just to wave at the people at least, so you can see they're in full regalia, and fanfare is back. Um, so you will be doing your video right after this. I will, but I just don't know where my other half is right now. Wait, which one is the better half? Here she, here she Me, is. obviously. <laughs> Oh. You all look like twins. Well. <laughs> also, <laughs> yay! George. <laughs> one of those shows, isn't it, today, George? This is really amazing. And you all are here in Nashville. They're like so many people, they've come to become country stars. And they're dressed up like these young people of the day. I can't believe it. Yeah. George, we're already country stars, can't you see? Yeah. Come on, man. Yes, I can see. And it's so neat because I think before too long while you'll be out there touring with the youngest of them. The 12 year olds are coming and, but you know, you all look like maybe you're 12 or 13, like little Bo Peep or something like that. Actually, we're 14. 14, so they're almost <laughs> over the hill by too modern young, day standards. Too young, George, too young. Well, we wanted to know what's in the basket real quick and your video, you will be filming it here right after we do Crawdad Hole. We will, we'll be filming our video for something called Nobody's Puppet. Nobody's oh, Puppet. Off our debut album called the, Nobody's Puppet. Come on, man. Oh, all stick around. Mm -hmm. All stick around after the show because we want you to be in our video too, all right? Sound good? Would it be bad for you all to sing Crawl That Hole with us? I think we can do that. Give this is so good because this will give us a taste of fanfare right, spectacular for all of you out there us. who aren't able to come and see the 12 year olds in Nashville this week. <laughs> Uh, you can watch them on stage right here at the Diva Nash Vegas Radio Show, and you can pray that someday country will come back to Nashville. It's here in Franklin in the Americana Music Triangle. We love you all. Thank you for watching the show, and now it's time to say cry at home. Come on up here, everybody. I'm getting up here next We're going to do the song with Kia G. I'm going to scoot over here, right here. Yeah, well, that's right. They might bring all the microphones up that somebody can read. Seriously, folks, it's a very wonderful time in country music. Anything is possible. You don't even have to sing to be a star. Why, well, they can fix you with a computer. A computer is a wonderful thing. Have you thought about becoming a country star yourself? You can do it. All you need is a lot of money. A lot of money. And they'll make you a star, too. Yes, you'll last a minute or two and then somebody else will come along. It's modern day Nashville. That's why we love beautiful downtown Franklin. Let me hear you scream, yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you, Cake Lady. Here we go. When I sing this song, Broad at Ho, I'm gonna say honey, and you say... Honey! And when I say babe, you say... Babe! Honey? Babe! Babe! babe. Here we go, are you ready? With gusto! I can't hear you! Yeah. Okay, here we go. You've given up on us. Yeah, boy. Put your hands together. 